Wow. Hello guys and welcome back to another Yaya video. Okay, so again, as I always say, as you guys have already seen from the title, I am going to be styling this Asteria hair wig. It's 180 density, it's a U-part wig, and it is also 24 inches. So today I'm actually going to be styling this, curling it. I am going to a wedding today. So we are getting ready nice and bright early. It's not the usual 2 a.m. that I'm usually here, but we are going to get started. The hair came in a sort of 1B color. I went ahead and dyed it slightly using a door velvet black, mainly because I really want it to blend in with my hair. But what I have done is Washed my hair and popped in a really, really bad sort of do. Um, I've clipped up and I'm going to be using the wig cap, one of the wig caps that they sent me. And I will also be straightening and blow drying this hair briefly, as well as my own hair at the front. So for now, I'm just going to put my hair away like so. And now we're going to get started on this. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to cut this joining piece off. And I'm going to get the wig cap on. It's only a U part wig, so I'm not going to put it over my whole head. I'm just sort of just going to put it on like so, just to protect my hair. And as I mentioned, I have parted my hair. So what I've done is I've parted it so the sides are out, like so. And so that I've got this middle section here. So I'm going to pop the clips in like so. There we go. So do a little 360. The wig itself, let me do a little stand up. It's a nice length, it is, and it actually is a nice length. I'm going to go in with the Tresemme Heat Protect, Heat Defense, and just spray that all the way throughout my wig. So because I kind of do want the volume of the hair, I'm going to straighten it briefly. I'm not gonna go crazy with the straightening today because the star of the show is gonna be the one curl for this look. But yeah, I'm popping this on 220. It's making me want to straighten my own hair, but that is what these wigs are here for. As some of you may know, I like wigs that look like my hair because there's some days I just don't want to do what I want to do to a wig on my hair. <laughs> and there's some days I do want to do those things to my hair. So I like the balance. I like the fact that like I get to curl my hair, I get to straighten it, or I get to straighten this hair, and my actual hair underneath is nice, protected, and away. So as I said, I'm just briefly straightening this hair. I'm not actually going into detail, I'm not trying to get it super, super straight. That's why I'm taking larger sections. If you want to get some nice, sleek, straight hair, it's got this sort of like relaxed silk press look, then I suggest taking smaller sections, even if you have a wide plated straightener or flat iron. But today, the star of the show is going to be the one curl. So she can be straight, but she doesn't need to be that straight. As of right now, it's looking pretty straight though. That looks so So I've done a few videos now on these U-Pot wigs. And do you know what? I don't know if you guys have noticed, if anyone is on TikTok, you would know that there is like a rise in taping that people are doing. And to me, this is the same concept. Very much having a leave out and then having hair that looks similar to yours. And I think this actually seems a little less damaging than tapings, especially if you don't know how to take care of tapings properly, you don't know how to wash them. This just seems like one of the best solutions. You put it in like a normal wig, you don't have to fix the lace, your edges aren't being compromised if you're trying to go for that taping sort of look. Anyway, so if you're going for more of a voluminous look, you actually could just start curling your hair straight from this. I have actually one curled some kinky straight hair from Mysterio before, straight from not straightening, and it looks good. It looks nice and big, but today, I wanted to test out straightening and then curling because I have not tried that before. Already, I'm obsessed with how it looks when it's straight, like I just cannot deal. But I wonder how it will look once it's curly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go away and straighten the rest of this. You can see side by side what it looks like if it's partially straightened according to how I did it. And then we're gonna go in, I'm gonna do this front section of my hair and show you guys, and then we're gonna put some one curl in. Okay, okay, so. I've straightened the hair. Now it's time to do some one curls. 
First things first, sun protection, just to make sure we are not burning ourselves. Again, I'm going in a slightly bigger chunk than I usually would. I'm using a slightly large barrel and we want to make some cute large cuts. So what I'm doing is grabbing the wand and twisting it upwards and then really hold it into place. I definitely feel like this is a sort of two in one. You get the best of both worlds. You can have it really nice, kinky if you want to. So you don't have to really straighten your hair as much or actually straighten it at all. Um, if you want to just blow dry it, you could and blend it in with the hair. Or you can have a nice straight sleek look. And you know what, not even a two in one. With this curl as well, it was quite nice. I'm really hoping that it holds the curl quite well. I'm making sure that I am curling and holding it in place. When I'm using a metal clip, I find that the heat will be held in there because it's metal. Okay, so this section is all done. I'm gonna now spray it. I'm also gonna go in with my proper hardcore spray. And then we'll wait a little while before we start taking them out. Okay, so I'm going to take down the rest of the front pieces. Wow, oh wow. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. This is stunning, guys. This is stunning. I'm in love with how shiny it all looks. It looks and blends in with my hair so, so well. This is it. As I said, I'm on my way to a wedding, so this is the perfect look. And it's super simple. Again, if you don't want to have to do the rest of your hair, you can pop your hair up into some braids and pop your wig on and you are all good to go. I am in love. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below if you guys would want to try this. If you're here for these again for the you parts, let me know. Thank you so, so much for watching guys and I hope to catch you in another one. Ciao.